a Dread Fun original production. Please sit back and enjoy. Standing six foot two, weighing 185 pounds, from Baldwin, New York, Chris Whiteman. Hey guys, Dread Fun with another one of my MMA uh, themed uploads. Uh, yeah, time for uh, me to do Chris Weidman, uh, the UFC's middleweight champion. Uh, that's the 185-pound weight division. And uh, quite a champion he is at that. Recently, he just uh, beat down Vitor Belfort at UFC 187, and it's been uh, recently released that he's going to be fighting Luke Rockhold in the near future, so pretty intense. Uh, if you're not aware of uh, Chris Weidman, if you've been living under a rock, he's the guy that uh, defeated Anderson Silva twice, two times in a row. Some controversy behind it with the leg break and the way he beat him the first time because Silva was taunting, but either way, the man's a badass. Uh, currently has a record of 13-0, and 0, uh, six wins by knockout, three wins by submission, as well as uh, four decision wins. Uh, a young guy, up and coming, uh, he's been declaring for many years that he's going to be the champ and he's going to beat Silva, and he finally did. And now we're in the era of Chris Weidman, and uh, I'm pretty pumped, so that's why I'm doing this drawing in my realistic pencil style. Again, uh, with these images, I will find something that I like somewhere online. I will then take that image and alter it, uh, you know, a little, a few ways. Uh, to make it my own, and in this one I, I'm trying to recreate the pencil with a, a watercolor background. I've done this with McConnor McGregor, as well as Habib, and uh, I think a few others that escape me right now, where I put a flag in the background. And with this one, Chris Weidman, whenever he wins, he always likes to walk around with uh, the American flag draped over his shoulders, or as you see in this picture, he's sort of holding it up over his head. I have seen this image as well. Um, it, it seems uh, it's also a wallpaper image I've seen online where it, it's very similar, but the background, it looks like uh, the flag is all uh, ripped up and mangled, and it's kind of, you know, uh, black and almost like the, the lens is darkened around the edges. So with this one, like I said, I found a very similar picture and then just painted the, the American flag in the background. Like it, with this one, again, it's really, it's, it's all about focusing on what, what you're going to translate from uh, the real image to the pencil image. Uh, I, I'm using a colored uh, shot of Chris Weidman, so I like to run that through my scanner and get it a black-white copy. That way I can, uh, it's a little easier to, to switch things up, like, you know, the shading under the arm. Make sure I get my measurements down. Uh, when you're doing more of the body shot, uh, it's tougher with the face. As you see Chris Weidman, he's kind of looking up as he's got the flag up and over. And you can't really see his hands, so it doesn't leave a lot of room. But, uh, you know what, it, it was a good project for me to do, and uh, I really think I captured Chris Weidman and uh, the way he looks after a victory, because it's classic Weidman. Every time he wins, uh, the American flag goes up. And, I think it should. You know what? I mean, it shows patriotism. Me personally, being Canadian, I have no issue with it. Whatever country you're from, after you win, uh, you, you should be able to put your flag up. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Maybe we can get this to Mr. Weidman and he can put it up on his Twitter or his Facebook. Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe. Dread Fun in. This has been a DreadFun.com production. Thanks for watching.